Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to model this door in AutoCAD 3D. So it is basically a simple door, but I will show you step by step how you can model it. So let's get started. Before every single drawing the units are very important, so in order to set them correctly we need to type the units command and then to press enter. Here it will appear a window and we need to have some changes. For example, here we will let it in decimal precision. We can let it also with two decimals. It is fine. International system is good. And for our drawing, we need to have here centimeters instead of millimeters. Then we will press OK. Also, to make our life easier, let's write here the settings in order to find easily more points. For example, here 3D object snap. There are the points for the 3D space or the 3D modeling. Today we will select the midpoint on edge and the center of the face. And here at the object snap tab we will apply endpoint midpoint center and geometric center and quadrant as well because these points are specific for the 2D space. And then we'll press OK. Now let's go with the 3D space. So press the home icon which is located right here. Let's go to the front plan. Let's change here the region. So write UCS view. And here we have right now x, y axis. So we need to draw exactly like in the 2D space. Let's focus now on the frame. So in order to do that, let's create a rectangle. So right rectangle, we'll use the rectangle command. The first dimension, it will be 100 tab 215. Enter. Double click on the mouse wheel. And inside of it, we need to construct another rectangle. But it is a parallel one, so we'll use the offset command. But offset it with just five units. Pick this rectangle and drag it inside. So here inside it will be the another one. Okay, now let's apply the trim command to delete this line and use the extend command now. For those of you with an older version of AutoCAD, explode first of all and then use the trim command. Now use the trim command again here. Now let's copy this part in the right side, let's say on a distance of 200 units, in our case centimeters. Now apply the join command to have one single boundary. And now let's use the press pull command. So press pull here with 25 centimeters because this is the thickness of the wall. Let's have a short look, change here into realistic and here it is. Okay, let's go back. And now let's add here another line. Okay, construct another line here. Starting from the middle, you see this green triangle, a line of 8.75 centimeters. Right here, we need to construct three rectangles. So we use the rectangle command again. The first one, it will have the dimension 70, tab 110. The other one, again, rectangle 70, tab 20. And the final one, 70 tab 40. Select this line and copy it. Go to this endpoint and place it exactly in the middle. You see this green triangle. Okay, and now let's start to move them. So use the move command. Pick up the midpoint and place it here at this endpoint. The same thing we'll do it also with these pieces. move. Okay, and now delete these three lines. Let's change now the UCS. So write UCS and place it here. Here it will be the X and here the Y. Construct now a circle. So write circle, 5, tab, 90, enter. And now it will have a radius of 1. So press 1 and then enter. Now let's use the press pull command. with eight units and inside with four units. The same thing here. But let's change here again into realistic, select them and move them in front with two units because I want to be exactly in the middle. You can see it now more clearly. They are exactly in the middle. Good. Select the circle now. 
hold the shift key you see I want just this little circle okay copy it in the right side on a distance of 200 units again now let's unify those four objects so let's go here to union and select the entire door and press enter because as you see now we have one single solid select both objects and make them invisible right click isolate hide objects and now let's focus here oh, by the way you can delete this line let's go here at the circle and let's go to the top plan let's create now the first line so line starting from here from this quadrant you see it okay and we'll go with five units in our case centimeters again construct a rectangle so right rectangle the first dimension it will be four tab 20 enter move it pick up the middle and place it here in this endpoint you can delete now this line and let's apply the fillet command air from radius to now let's apply it for a bunch of times without writing for every time fillet radius 2 so we'll write fillet multiple so m the command is still active as you see and now let's apply the offset command with 0 0.5 okay let's construct now a line here at the end of this arch trim Construct now another line, but for this time a line of 1. Okay, and let's apply the arch command. So 1, 2 in the middle, and 3 the end. We can delete now this one. And exactly in the middle of this line, let's construct another circle. So right circle here and write 0 0.25. We can delete now this line. Okay, and now let's mirror it. So mirror command. Select this circle this arch enter now pick up the middle erase source object no trim and here it is okay construct now another line starting from this quadrant or this endpoint three and let's construct now a circle for the windows users you must go here in this part but i will go here in the draw menu circle and I'll select two point circle and I'll write 0.5 okay now I can delete this line copy it 1.5 line command from a quadrant to the other copy it with 0.5 trim command and why not you can also press the join command to have one single boundary as you see let's apply the press pull command with 0 0.5 units and inside with one use the fillet edge now enter radius 0 0.2 enter okay and here it is the same thing will do it also for the other side so fill at edge for this time as you see the radius it is preset and press enter here it is now let's make them one single object let's go here to union and good as you see we have now one single object we must select now the circle now let's move it in the right side with 200 units so let's say again let's change the plan let's go to back flip it use yes view now let's construct three lines so right line line of four then the command is still active right 12 and two 
fill that here from radius and two. The same thing here, fill that air from radius to. Now let's use the join command. So select these parts and press join. Sweep now. Enter. And select the path. And this one it will be enter again. Now let's use the press pull again. But for this time select this circle and extend it with four centimeters let's place it back so move command with 200 units double click on the mouse wheel okay now we'll use the mirror command so right mirror select the entire object basically there are two solids here enter and now let's draw the mirror line let's go to top and select for example here random point but the most important fact here is to have activated the ortho command for straight lines erase source object no okay and here it is now let's make from four solids just one solid let's apply the union command you can also write it enter and now as you see we have one single solid 3d solid good let's move it now in the left side with 200 units so move 200 right click isolate and object isolation double click on the mouse wheel okay and we need to change it so select it the handle move with eight units okay and here it is by the way you can delete this extra sketches and here it is let's place it also here in the side but before doing that select it and let's move it because I want to be exactly in the middle as you see so move and drag it in this direction with 8.5 good move it with 200 units again so basically let's put it back and now let's color it so let's go to matte browser open okay and let's select some materials for example aluminium cast okay now let's go to wood for example let's go to cherry and now for the frame let's choose english oak double click okay and here it is you can also pick other colors as well it doesn't matter this is just a short example and for the final step select the union command select the entire object and press enter now click it move it okay and delete the extra sketches if you want to have just one single solid and here it is our door now is complete I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and see you next time.